Influencers seemingly live a life of luxury that their followers envy, but sometimes that life of luxury is a complete lie, and the influencers are exposed for living fake lives. I'm Mackenzie, and let's get into the top 10 entitled influencers exposed for living fake lives. But first, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And at number 10, Brian Laundry. Brian Laundry and his now deceased fiance, Gabby Petito, were an influencer couple who were living in their van and traveling across the country. However, everything changed on September 11th. When when Brian came back from their trip with the van, but without Gabby. Even worse, he had been home for 10 days without her before her parents were informed that she was missing. Since then, law enforcement has been trying to put together the pieces, but it's clear that the perfect image the couple portrayed on social media was completely fake, and there were many issues in the relationship. This was confirmed further when body camera footage showing Gabby crying to police after a fight with Brian, where police decided to separate them both for their own safety. Brian Laundrie has now fled and police are searching for him, leading many to believe that he is guilty of a horrible crime. And at number 9, Daniel Cohen. TikToker and YouTuber Daniel Cohen is known for being controversial. Something that's been following her for years is that people think she's way too young to be wearing and doing the things that she does. Some have even accused her mother of exploiting her. Things got even stranger when her father revealed on Facebook that she is much younger than she says online. At that time, he claimed his daughter was only 13, while she was pretending to be 15 at that time. Apparently, she is two years younger than she claims. This claim was speculated once again in 2020. 20, when on a live stream, Danielle insinuated she was 14. Since her father showed a birth certificate to back up his claims, many believe he's the one telling the truth. And at number 8, Creepshow Art. Creepshow Art, real name Shannon, started her channel back in 2016 and garnered over 300,000 subscribers for talking about pop culture while creating art on her iPad. In her video, she tried to use her platform for good and call out creators that needed to face consequences for their actions. That was until she was exposed for being a massive hypocrite. It started when an anonymous posting site claimed that Shannon had posted comments using racist, transphobic, and ableist language. Then it was exposed that she had been stalking and harassing another creator on YouTube named Emily Artful. Apparently, Shannon is now with Emily's abusive ex-boyfriend, and the couple does everything possible to torment Emily. After this was all exposed, Creepshow Arts fans mass unsubscribed. And at number 7, Newmain. TikTok star Newmain has been exposed for having a fake online presence after it was discovered that none of his content is original. A TikTok user by the name of Joey Bailey exposed Newmain for stealing content from other creators on the platform and passing it off as his own. Joey posted a video to the platform doing side-by-side -side comparisons of Newmain's videos to other creators' content, showing the material is basically identical. After this, it was debated how big of an issue this really is, because it's very common for TikTokers to copy popular videos and trends. But the issue with Newmain is that he literally never made one original video, and any video of his that went viral was stolen. And at number 6, Landon McBroom. Landon McBroom got famous because of his brother, Austin McBroom, who is the father in the ultra popular Ace Family. He even made his own family channel with his ex-girlfriend named Shyla, but they stopped uploading to it after their recent split. Since their split, Landon has been flexing online, and this has caused fans to look further into these posts. After this was done, it was revealed that tons of his Instagram posts and stories are completely fake. A gallery is put together by one account showing the differences between what's online and what Landon posted, and it is jaw-dropping. One picture shows him pretending to be on a private jet with sushi, saying he's heading to Vegas for the weekend. Another is a photo of a green Birkin. Landon tried to play it off like it was a gift for a woman. He then stole a photo from Twitter of a man and woman's legs, saying that he had a new relationship that he was going to be announcing soon. And lastly, there's a photo of a Louis Vuitton bag, again making it look like it belongs to him or his girlfriend. This was not only embarrassing, but proved he was a huge liar. Halfway number 5, Taylor Paul. Taylor Paul has 1.9 million followers on TikTok, and most of her viral videos seem to be lying about her life. In her TikTok video, she claims to be haunted, as well as being 40 years old and a Mormon. But many are not believing these claims, specifically the claim that she is haunted, mostly pointing out how blatantly fake the videos are. In some of the videos, you can even see strings attached to her cupboards that are magically opening and closing. Taylor even jokes about her own claims. And she actually did a TikTok video where she sarcastically addressed the criticism against her, leading many to believe that she's just trolling. And at number 4, Hilaria Baldwin. This might be the worst case of someone pretending to be something else for decades, but thankfully Hilaria, or we should say Hillary, was caught red-handed. 
After a tweet went viral accusing Hilaria of faking being Spanish, people started looking into her past and it appears that she's lied about having a Spanish background. It was revealed that she's never lived in Spain, despite claiming that she had, and that her parents are fully American with no Spanish blood. There was even a clip that went viral where Hilaria pretended to have a Spanish accent and was having a hard time thinking of the English word for cucumber. Old classmates of hers even came out against her, saying she was fully white, and they used to call her Hillary. Her response to the whole situation was basically that she admires and loves Spanish culture, but she has no actual heritage. And at number 3, Moses Hackman. When Moses was introduced to the world by Trisha Paytas, he seemed like the best thing that ever happened to Trish. They moved quickly and had gotten engaged and bought a house together less than a year after dating. Everything was going great until other women came forward revealing that Moses was a liar and cheater who had manipulated multiple women in the past. One woman even came forward alleging that Moses S.A.'d her, sorry I can't say the full word, by removing the protection while they were hooking up. Claims have even been made that Moses is cheating on Trish currently because he was seen out with another woman recently. All in all, his past seems very sketchy, and it's clear that he is not the person that we thought he was. I guess that's why you never got along with Ela and Ethan in the first place. And at number two, only Jayus. Only JS' real name, Isabella Avila, got into a huge scandal after it was exposed that they said racial slurs on multiple occasions. This was incredibly shocking to fans considering JS often speaks in support of marginalized groups. The first set of screenshots that came out showed JS using the N word with a hard R while arguing with a black creator. JS was 17 when they sent this and the other person was 13. At first, JS denied the screenshots, but later even more came out. Next, JS was in a conversation with a white person who was dating a black person at that time, and JS used the term N word lover. All this caused many black creators to speak out against them. JS eventually apologized and admitted to the harmful words, but it was hard to deny her whole brand was a fraud. And finally, number one, Ava Louise. Ava Louise is infamous on the internet for many reasons. One of the most famous is the TikTok she made in the beginning of the pandemic of licking an airplane seat. This video was labeled as the coronavirus challenge, and the caption read, quote, Please retweet this so people can know how to properly be sanitary on an airplane. The video immediately went viral with people mocking the situation. Funny enough, Ava actually ended up contracting corona after this stunt. But she ended up going on Dr. Phil after the incident and admitted the whole thing was fake. She claimed it was on a private plane and she sanitized it before doing the stunt. So she most likely didn't get corona from that particular stunt. So that's all for the list guys, please leave your thoughts on everything below, but before I go I'm going to shout out some comments from my video on the California Karen. Dawn said, so Karen was screaming at the employee for not wearing a mask, yet she herself wasn't wearing one. It's like peak hypocrisy, like literally how can you yell at someone for not doing something when you're not doing it either, like I, so stupid. Then Daisy said, this Karen didn't want to just speak to the manager, she wanted to fight her. Yeah, I assume the other woman she was speaking to was the manager. And it's like she didn't care about any other people that were trying to step in, that were saying things to her. The Karen only cared about the manager and like physically attacking the manager. Very, very weird. Then Emily said, so she's not wearing a mask, mad at others not wearing a mask. Peak Karen. It really is very uh, Karen-esque to be a big hypocrite and freak out over things that aren't even a big deal and that other people are, like literally, that's the crazy thing. No one else was really wearing a mask because you don't have to. In that particular area, and then she's like freaking out at this one woman when it's like no one else is. So weird. All right, guys, that's all for the video. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one.